morning team happy sunday guys i haven't seen you guys our vlog with you guys in a minute so good morning hello happy birthday to me anyway <laughs> hey guys don't forget to like subscribe and share i miss you guys so much i promise Things are going to get better. I'm going to start doing more clothing hauls and um, getting back in tune with you guys. You know, just been so much going on. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get reacquainted. Okay, guys. So anyway, I am so happy to be on here to talk with you guys and chat a little bit this is not gonna be a long vlog it's early here it's overcast it's been really hot in california uh first it was rainy now it's hot that's just kind of um the weather here you know it's warm cold goes back and forth but anyway i hope all is well with everyone um i've just been doing my thing working grinding doing my business it's been a lot just trying to stay focused trying to stay positive um, through the midst of all the worldly craziness but um but yeah so you guys gonna go on this little walk with me we'll have a little chat and uh of course you know we got you know who the boss i like to pay attention because when i walk this way guys it's coyotes that run through here and Kelsa would be lunch for them. So, you know, uh, I was getting a call guys. But yeah, Kelsa would be lunch if I would, um, if we run across a coyote and I've seen them more than a few times. Anyway guys, this vlog is going to be about, and it's not even gonna be like a vlog or it's not even really going to be a vlog or whatever. It's just really, look at Kelso. He tries to do his own thing. He doesn't listen to me, guys. What can I do? Comment down below. He's been almost 15 years old. Can you train an old dog? <laughs> That's a good topic for everybody, not just for animals, people too. Anyway. Okay, guys. So I'm not sure what to call this um, vlog, this video. Come on, Kels. Um, I want to say, I kind of want to talk about friends and uh, long term, long time friends and um, just the etiquette of friendship, I guess I want to say. Um, so the vlog is really going to be about um, should you divide your friends up far as inviting them to certain places you know uh, comment down below and I'm going to explain why and I and, and I get that sometimes you do have to divide your friends up in you know in certain situations um, but uh, in long-term friendship I feel like you know okay guys so as i was saying this video is really talking about friends and so-called friends i guess anyway guys i have a question um if you had a friend that kind of didn't that you guys used to do everything together you know you guys were bonnie and clyde and uh laverne and shirley you know did everything then all of a sudden life changes and you know things change and shit happens but after a while that person starts transitioning i'm trying to be really sensitive about this because it's been on my spirit for a minute and i'm kind of babbling about it because i don't want to get on here because i see people get on here and they 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 should, instead of speaking to that person, they really... So, yeah, um, you had a friend. Um, you guys have been friends forever. But then that friend is... Uh, stop inviting you places. We're doing things without you. You know, you guys kind of separated. And that's cool. You know what I mean? 
um but as as the other person feels like okay well if that's how you want to roll then we we will we'll deal with this accordingly and if you do, if you don't look at me as a friend in that aspect anymore that's fine you know we'll be cordial and still love from a distance and all of that so um my question is how do you guys deal with like how do you feel about a friend night and not inviting you to certain events but letting you know that oh but you can come to this event comment down below I'm Okay, guys, so I hope you guys had a chance to ponder on what I'm trying to say without being, because um, I'm not mad about it. I'm not disappointed. I'm. This is just for, not just for me, for anybody that might be going through something. And yeah, communication is everything. You do need to uh, communicate with that person but to me it seemed like you would know you know and um the friend that i'm speaking on i love her you know we've been friends forever but i've noticed within not just recent but just within years and, and i think that's where the issue is coming you know on how she handles me as a friend and um yeah, so so as right now, I'm gonna switch subjects real quick. Not subjects, but just switch tones. Um, I'm walking where I normally love to walk, where I love to come manifest. And, uh, you know, this is what I like to do. So, it's my neighborhood. I claim it. And, uh, yeah. If God got another plan, hey. I'll take that too. But um, but yeah, guys. Um, I'm gonna get when I get settled in walking. Ugh, bugs. When I get settled from walking, um, I'm gonna sit down here by this water, and I'm gonna chat a little bit. And I'm just gonna get right to the point because I don't even want to beat around the bush on, about it. And uh, yeah, so we'll talk about it soon. Okay, guys, so I'm going to make this quick and short, quick and short. Um, I'm out here. This is where I love to come. This is different than the place that I normally go sit, but this is part of where I love to be at as well. It's so quiet and so serene. It's just so me, guys. I'm all about positivity. I know I'm not you know perfect in any way but i don't try to discredit my friends i don't try to um, make them feel any kind of way um, if i feel like someone is making me feel uncomfortable 
I kind of removed myself from the situation and I used to talk about things and you know like I said people say you need to communicate and, and things like that I feel like um, yeah you do need to communicate but also you know what to do and what not to do it's almost like kind of like common sense you know what I mean so the point that I'm trying to get at is that um, I feel like um, if a friend is dividing you away from other friends and other um, um, situations that they might be participating in I don't know if that's I, what would you think is is that person your friend or is that person just your associate because I feel like friends should be able to uh, you should be able to invite your friends to wherever you you know you're at you know what I mean you know if they know how to act and act accordingly but um i don't know it's just to me i feel like ladies you know at, at this time women should be able to come together and network women are starting businesses women are making moves and things like that this one person shouted me out but had all my information wrong so it's like how do you, how does that become a how you don't even know so i'm person. saying that to say um you know i'm not um I, I just know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I, you teach people how to treat you, you know, you, you teach them how to treat you. And I feel like if this person had a event all weekend, you should have been able to go to what each event, <laughs> if you're friends, if you're friends, but to divide that up, you know, but anyway, guys, comment down below tell me what you think about it i know it was kind of you know rambling because i really don't want to make it seem like i'm being a brat or complaining about it i'm just kind of speaking on it because like i said ladies right now we doing a damn thing i mean we we making things happen and to try to devise someone and i know if it's a birthday or whatever but still if women are coming together they still should be able to network whether it's an event that's when people should come together yeah you're going to celebrate whatever event you're going to but you still should be able to be like oh hey you know what you're doing you know that's what it's all about we're living in a time where you should be able to kind of network and, and and network with people that are on the same page but yeah guys anyway comment down below tell me what you think am i being just overreacting on it um like i said it wasn't just uh the event that i wasn't invited to it's been numerous of things that I have that that's been over the years <laughs> and when we had the conversation I told her I said you don't get it and I feel like as a friend you should be able to get it but it's almost like if a person is kind of narcissistic in a certain kind of way and everybody kind of just plays with their you know plays on their team and hey you got to have a team all, all the time. So, you know, sometimes players don't want to play on certain teams. So, you know, it's all good. But anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I promise more videos are coming. Also, I want to uh, talk about my business because enough of the neck. And I don't even want to say it's negative. It was just something that I need to get off my spirit. Also, uh, Mama Cita's Cookies please go to my website me and my daughter i've hired her as my assistant <laughs> she's doing well so far you know she's been helping me out i've been super busy just doing everything on my own that's why i have not been able to vlog and get on here and do my hauls i promise those things are coming up i'm gonna have a she in haul coming soon i know i've been saying that um but also um, Mama Cita's cookies, I'll put it up so you guys could go on the website if you want good cookies. I do ship if you want to try them. Uh, we're still tweaking out the website and everything. But guys, yes, go check me out on Instagram at Mama Cita's cookies. And yeah, guys, women network, network together because that's what it's all about. It's about just being a part of something being able to network with other women being positive with other women i'm not about the bull i'm just not that's just not me that's not my flavor that's not how I, that's not, not how i roll period giving back i you know i want to give back so um you know hey giving is you know a way to to just 
give back to something that you feel good about you know whether it's a homeless person or whatever you always give people always and it, it doesn't have to be money it could be knowledge you know what i mean so anyway guys i am missing you guys so much this feels so good i feel so good today i know god has a great plan for you and me so stay positive you know uh uplift your people uplift your people find out what your people are really doing if you have a friend embrace that friend life is short like honestly life is short if you can sit and break bread with your friend and you guys can chop it up and be real with each other that's what it's really all about all the bull crap let it go i'm serious it's, it's not worth it look at kelso he off his leash he just chilling he's enjoying it. he said it's our new place you like it out here kelso 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 you like it out here you like it out here it's nice huh Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment down below. Let me know if I'm tripping or should I just be like, girl, bye. <laughs> or people, bye. You know, it's not that serious. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys at the next video. Peace out.